Hi class, how are you doing? Welcome back to my intermediate grammar class. Today is our fifth meeting. Uh, we will discuss about parallel construction. Parallel structure means using the same construction for sentence elements that are same in function. Parallel structure also means words, phrases, or clauses joined by the coordinate conjunctions and or but have the same grammatical form. There are three rules, three rules to consider when checking for parallel structure in your writing. The first rule, parallel structure should be used when elements are joined by coordinating conjunction. For example, I am allergic to the dog's hair and its smell. Yeah, I am allergic to the dog's hair and its smell. Yeah, I am allergic to the dog's hair. I am. There is I as a subject and am the to be. After and, its smell. It is smell. It uh, its subject is to be. So they have they have same uh, structure. Yeah. The second uh, rules is parallel structure should be used when writing elements in the form of a list or a series. For example. The class valued respect, honestly, and promptness in a teacher. The class valued respect, honesty, and promptness in a teacher. You can see respect, honesty, and promptness. They have some uh, form, yeah. Um, this noun, yeah. How well alphabet is uh we use the class valued respectful honesty and promise in a teacher no it is not uh right parallel structure because respectful is is adjective yeah next the third structure uh, the third rules is parallel structure should be used when comparing or con contrasting elements for example james enjoys reading more than writing James and just reading more than writing. Yeah, comparing between reading and writing. Yeah, both of them uh, are in ing form. James and just reading more than writing. How if you uh, if the sentence James enjoys reading, then uh, James and just reading more than to write. It is incorrect because. Uh, they have some no structure. Reading is gerund or inform. To writing to write is uh, to verb. Another example. Peter is rich, handsome, and popular. Rich. Peter is rich, handsome, and popular. Rich is adjective. Handsome adjective and popular is adjective. Yeah, so they have same uh, form. Three of them are adjective. Another example: Mr. Henry is a lawyer, a politician, and a teacher. A lawyer, a politician, and a teacher. Lawyer, politician, and teacher are none. Yeah, they have same. Uh, another example. Her long illness and slow recovery made her very despondent. He, she doesn't like to get up in the morning or to go to bed at night. She doesn't like to get up in the morning or to go to bed at night. He told us that his wife had been in an accident, but that luckily she had not been hurt. Yeah. Parallel forms are also required with paired coordinate conjunction. For example, they are either at their country home or at the beach. They are either at the con their country home or at the beach. Their country home or at the beach. Yeah, that's uh, the parallel form. So, if you use uh, adjective, so next should be adjective. If you use noun, next would be noun. Yeah.
that's uh, the highlight for parallel construction today. We will continue our lesson next meeting about dangling. Okay, see you. Thank you.